Hello. <laughs> I just saw. Yep, yep, he's way up here now. And I think he just fell. <laughs> We got the green one to follow now. <laughs> so right now my truck is a little bit torn apart <laughs> just a tiny bit oh hello spider way to get up right in my camera huh <laughs> yeah Got chocks under these wheels. And well there's something missing up here. <laughs> Lug nuts on the floor. I just had to take my rotors to get turned so they're nice and pretty now. I'm gonna put them back on here. I gotta do a full brake job on this truck because these rotors were pretty badly uh grooved before I took him in but they've still got a lot of life left in them he said uh, at least one more turn if needed but the brake pads are probably going to be pretty screwed up because of that so I'm just going to go ahead and replace them all while I'm here same thing on this side the way I see it they can only make it better and I've done I did a brake job on my blazer a while back Actually, I think I did two brake jobs on my blazer at one time. At two points in its lifetime. And then inside, I've got a wire running for a brake light circuit for the back. Because I'm actually going to have this third brake light wired up properly in here. It takes three 194 housing bulbs and I'm gonna go ahead and get LEDs for them the entire bed cover needs to be pulled off so I can reseal the bed line the, uh, the sealant is like coming out everywhere and all inside the bed the carpet inside is totally wet soaked in fact yep it's still wet even overnight these things I really do not like right now because there's no way that I can put LEDs in this housing without maybe modifying the LED bulbs themselves because of the way they are designed or maybe since the upper bulb only acts as a tail light I can just put a 3156 in there instead of a 3157 like it currently has yeah like this one down here is just a reverse bulb and it still has a 3157 from the looks of it I don't even know if 3156 and the 7s are exactly the same bulb or not but whatever <laughs> I got all my radio stuff in this box along with a little more wiring and this wire is going to be a hot lead 
is I'm going to mount a cigarette lighter plug inside the wall here somewhere so that I can use this to pump up my airbag suspension. And as you can see, I am tagged for Texas. Also, this disgusting, corroded, crimped mess back here is getting totally redone. Uh, as you can see, I've made a whole mess out of that. <laughs> yeah. So in here, I've got part or crimps from my organizer. And I've got a whole new trailer harness thingamajigger. I've got spark plugs because uh, the seller mentioned he did cap, rotor, and wires, but did not do the plugs. So I figure if I want to, I have them now, I can go ahead and do that. And then brake pads. Now, one thing I forgot to get was the brake. Where do you think you're going? That brake pad goopy stuff <laughs> that keeps the brake from vibrating when you're making a stop, or at least keeps it from squealing, I guess. Yeah. You got a big one and you got a small one. That's how they work. Yep. So I gotta see if my dad's got some of that stuff hanging around. He probably does. And then I got the parts stuff and yeah, Got so much to work with here. And then the spare tire out from underneath. I went ahead and just took it out and I'm gonna throw it in the back instead. Or just take all four of them and chuck them in the shed for a while. And old air filter. I went ahead and replaced that while I was under here. So it's got a pretty new fram. And I'm thinking I'm going to do a throttle blade modification on this truck where I cut off a little half moon piece that basically just makes taking off from a dead stop a little bit smoother, I guess they say. I did it on the blazer and it increased the low end power more than I thought it would. Don't really know if it's good for MPG gains or overall power because you wide open throttle it's just going to not even matter honestly. But for very small throttle position opening it makes a difference. But yeah, I'm running a little bit of wiring and you can't see anything because I didn't bother to turn a light on when I came in. Now oh, what are we doing here? Let's do this one. This one. Yeah, now we can see better. A little bit maybe. Yeah, I've got two studs here. They're each individually fused, so that's pretty cool. But right now I have them removed because this one's just the bare wire in the back right now goes to the trailer harness which I am modifying the crap out of right now and yeah I think that's pretty much it for the moment um, what else am I doing oh this here is the bane of my existence as far as getting that seat to come back at all so I went to a local pick and pull over in Tyler and picked this one up and I'm not even sure if I want to use it because it is so utterly disgusting and it's just gonna make my truck look bad <laughs> but I'm gonna get the water supply turned on so I can clean it off back here because right now all the water shut off to the shop it's got a line that comes from the back of the house over there goes through the ground and comes up somewhere around here but right now all the faucets are open so I can't really do it Oh well, I can just turn the faucet on and let it air itself out. Yeah, so that's what's going on right now. In addition, the LEDs are working and I need to do a couple of things with that. I got new ones of these because the old ones were falling out of the door. And the other one, not that one, this one, yeah. It's lens just fell off, so 
I replaced them. Uh, so, I'm not sure if I'm going to put these in the front or the back. I think I might go ahead and put them up front because the indicators are going to want them up front, I believe. I ordered LEDs for the dome lights, so those will be coming soon. Wait. No, I think I just stuck them in a cart because I'm building a cart for all the LEDs I'm going to get for this truck. Now I know I need three here. And <laughs> the dome light is going to get completely ripped out and replaced with something quite a bit better because it, the one that's in there right now, is uh, powered by C-cell batteries and looks like it could illuminate maybe two inches. <laughs> so that is getting replaced. And yeah, I'm trying to think. I want to do electric fans on this truck like I did on my Blazer as well. But if I'm going to do that, I'm also going to need a bigger alternator. And I'm just sinking so much money into this thing. <laughs> I mean, it's money I want to spend. But, yeah. It's getting a little up there. I need to get a job or figure out where I'm going so I can get a job. Because I don't know. I don't really want to stay here in Texas, you know. <sighs> well... That's a different conversation for another day, I think. But I'm going to go ahead and start getting to work here so I'm not just wasting time, which I'm essentially doing anyway. And, yeah, I'll come back when I have something else to mention. Oh, I guess I do have something else to mention real quick. This little guy in here is going to be holding on to a relay, which should be down here. Oh, here it is. Yeah, this just snaps on. It's going to sit behind the tail light and not get in the way. And this relay is actually going to be the controller for the brake lights. Because I just don't feel good running a straight wire off the brake switch. Just straight to power lights. I mean, I'm sure that the wiring can handle it. Especially if it's going to be LEDs. But... Better safe than sorry, right? Especially if I do figure out a way to modify these tail lights so that I can have both of these upper bulbs do the same thing. Or better yet, what I would really love to do is have the upper bulb be the blinker and the bottom bulbs just be the brakes. I would love that. But unfortunately, with this being a circuit board, I can't modify it. And even further, unfortunately, I can't even use a harness like this one and modify it because the darn holes are too big. So, I can't snap it in place. It just falls out. So, I'm a little out of luck on that one and it doesn't really make me too happy, but... Oh well, I'll deal with it. <laughs> I'll see if I can maybe find some tail lights that are different because I think these are all the same from like 88 to 98 unfortunately for SUVs and pickups they use the same tail lights for all of these trucks the GMT 400 series but anyway I think I've gone on and blabbered enough so yeah 15 friggin minutes worth yeah so let's get some stuff done for once
Well, unfortunately, there was no salvaging this particular seat track because it was just not going to cooperate no matter what we did. So, <laughs> we took matters into our own hands and uh, went all circular saw on it. <laughs> yeah. So, you can kind of see remnants of that. And, yeah. And the darn thing still won't slide off. That's what gets me. <laughs> Neither one of them. Can't get either one of these pieces to slide off. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. It won't give up. <laughs> oh! Ah, I got a wheel. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so there's one of the track wheels. <laughs> And we were beating on this thing. We were. I was actually trying to just rip it off, actually. <laughs> but that obviously wasn't working. Oh, and there's the other wheel. You? <laughs> yeah. There's the other wheel. But can I get it out of there? And it's busted up state. Probably not. That one just came out, though. Ah, this one is missing a centerpiece. Yeah, I was busting that one up real good. Hmm. That one's got a piece missing, though. That's the thing. Where is the missing piece? That is the question of the hour. Yeah, because you can see this wheel has something sticking out of the side of it yeah well i don't know if i can get that wheel out of there it looks like it's kind of crushed in there and like i said i was pulling on this thing you can see the track is bent from where i was trying to pull it off the seat <laughs> well we got the circular saw on it and just cut it in half and now we finally have a an empty place here and I've been working on this one for the last hour or so. Trying to get it cleaned up enough to even consider putting in my truck. And this one thankfully slides all the way forward and back. And right now I actually have its wheel out. You know, I'm not sure if they're both supposed to be like this or if one is supposed to just be a wheel. Because I, the other one's in there, I can't get it out. And I don't think it's supposed to come out, but this... The two little ball bearings there, and it just slides on here. Put this down, and then the wheel just drops right in, and it goes into the back. And that's all there is to that. But this one works perfectly, and I just got it pretty much as clean as I can get it. Thank God there's a plastic piece that goes over this piece, because God, it's just ugly. But... <laughs> Yeah, and this piece inside is not going to be visible inside the truck, thankfully, unless you get up underneath the seat. I think I got most of the solvent so that I won't have solvent dripping all down into my carpet. But right now I'm not really sure. I might just go ahead and... Uh, I might just go ahead and put a towel down before I bolt it down. Meanwhile, my brake pads are all gooped up, and I still need to bleed the system, but I got the new trailer wire harness put in, and it's all uh, electrical greased and all that fun stuff. We'll get up underneath here. Okay, now we can see it. I got the wiring done up halfway decently compared to what it used to look like. And you know, it's kind of sad. I don't think I showed what it did used to look like. But suffice to say, this is a lot better than it was. And I might go ahead and take some more of this. In fact, I think I will go ahead and take some more of this and cover up the ground wires. This one's just going to nowhere right now. It's kind of just a empty wire. But, um, these guys 
are my license plate bulbs. I replaced the bulb when I got the truck and they work. But I think what I'm going to do with them is get 90 degree LEDs because with them, the lens is here. And they make 90 degree elbow 194 bulbs so that I can actually point them directly at the license plate instead of up into the top of the housing where they're not going to do anything useful anyway. And then inside here, I actually cut all of the wiring out of that. <laughs> and that's waiting on me over here. There's all the bulb holders there. <laughs> My soldering iron, which has gotten quite a workout today. In addition, I have a junction block over here with straight hot ground and blinker. Or actually, no, that's brake, not blinker. Brake. And this here will be what feeds the third brake light and dome lights when I get them put in here. Because, like I said, this dome light here, <laughs> there's no batteries in it right now, but it's battery powered. The bulb is like that big. It's like tiny, like a flashlight bulb. How is that going to light up an entire camper shell? That's freaking ridiculous. I mean, geez. Seriously. <laughs> it just came apart in my hand. That's okay, it already did that once. Yeah. Like, my finger's bigger than that thing. It's ridiculous. Anyway, that's the update for now. I got quite a bit done today dust hanging around everywhere so the brake light is hooked up right there so that when I hit this the feed goes straight to the back and right now it's just the brake lights but I will get LEDs for the third brake light and we'll wire that up and we will call that awesome I haven't done anything up under here except disconnect a couple of these fuses so that I don't short them out. Because these two fuses go to these two studs here. Auxiliary B and Auxiliary A, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So, that's what we're doing right now. And it is it's actually pretty late. It's almost 11.30 now. And Yeah. Uh, time to go to bed. Come back to this tomorrow. I'm pretty sure all of these were... Yeah, they're dried pretty much. I'll let them dry overnight and that'll be enough. But I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and put the seat track on. Put the thing back in the truck. Bolt it down and then I'm going to go to bed. And that's going to be the end of this video. As soon as I get that done. All right, we've got a seat, and it goes all the way back. <laughs> I have space to sit in here now, and it is great. I don't have to have my leg all up against this brake control module or anything. And it actually fully moves. Ooh. Now I'm up against a subwoofer box. <laughs> there used to be like a seats with a space between the two and I was like eh but now everything nice and comfortable much pedal steering wheel yeah I'm liking this my key is actually in the ignition still I did not even realize that <laughs> alrighty then lights Lights. Lights that aren't supposed to be on. <laughs> clicky, clicky, clicky. They're working up front. They're working in the back. And not activating the brake. And I think that is the first time I have 
ever seen that seatbelt sign in this truck. <laughs> I don't know about that. I'm probably wrong. Okay, we see flashy light up there. We see flashy light back here. We see no third brake light. Alright. Now I gotta test the third brake light. Eh. Fall off this f***ing door, I will f***ing kill you after you die from hitting the f***ing f***ing made that floor. Okay, I'm done f***ing around for tonight. <sighs> Got my third brake light working. Need to run the wire up in the rail. But... It's in here at least, and I got three 194 bulb from Clusters. Spare parts. Go me. <laughs> and I think, don't quote me on it, but I think that is the last of the soldering I have to do for this truck for this moment. Yeah. Okay, that is locked. And I still gotta do the brakes. <laughs> uh, game over. <laughs>